Hey, Fenuri, is something wrong? Yeah, uh, it's getting close to Christmas and I need to make some Christmas card for my friend. But they like art and they also like science, but I don't know what type of card to make them. It's a really difficult problem. Hmm. Should we swing on it? Yeah, definitely. Fenuri, this swinging has given me an idea. What? Have you heard of a harmonograph? No, what's a harmonograph? Let me show you. Fenuri, a harmonograph is a really cool device that uses pendulums to draw really cool shapes. It lets you visualize something called simple harmonic motion, which is where a swing pendulum wants to get back to where it sits at rest. Oh, that's a bit like the swings we were just on in the park, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because while we were swinging, it kept slowing down until it got to that point where it was when it rested. Yeah, exactly right. I really love harmonographs because they draw these really cool spiral patterns. And that's because the pendulums like to give each other swinging from one to the other. That's a bit like our swing, right, at the park? Because when we started swinging together, we started off at the exact same point and we were swinging in sync. But then over time I noticed that we started to slow down and started to swing in opposite directions. Yeah, that's exactly right. So the pendulums in a harmonograph will give the swinging energy of one across to the swinging energy of another. So one pendulum will slow down and the other one will speed up. That's called the transfer of momentum and it's why the harmonograph makes those cool spiral patterns. That's so awesome. In this next clip, Adam and I show you how to build a harmonograph at home. Now the instructions will be placed in the description down below, but enjoy this time lapse of us building the project for you. So, Fenuri, why do you think the pendulum slowed down over time? It's a really great question. I think it might be because of a thing called friction. Friction is a force when two things meet together and they rub against each other. And it slows things down. Ah, oh, so the string rubbing against the roof and the pen rubbing against the paper would make friction, which would slow down the pendulums in the harmonograph. Yeah, exactly. And things can have different types of friction. So some things can have a lot of friction and other things can have a little less friction. Ah, oh, so it's kind of like when I was on the slide at the park. Yeah. That wouldn't have had a lot of friction, which is why I could slip down it so easily. Yeah, exactly right. Thank you so much, Adam. These are really amazing pictures. And I've had a lot of fun actually making a harmonograph with you. Yeah, I really hope your friend likes them and uh, making the harmonograph was so much fun because we just made it out of stuff we found around the house. Yeah, exactly. It's really simple to make actually and I know that she's going to love how thoughtful it is. And if you're interested in trying it yourself, we've left the instructions on how to make your harmonograph in the description down below. We'd love to see what pictures you make and tell us about your experiences down below. Thank you so much for watching. Adam and Thaneri, signing, signing up. up. Woo!